Hello, and welcome to this informative video designed to teach you about the different properties of rivers and streams. The properties we'll be discussing today are meanders, cup banks, point bars, bow wags, and terraces. Let's begin with meanders. What exactly is a meander? It's a bend in the river channel that is formed by the erosion and deposition of sediment particles transported by moving waters. Let's watch a meander form. To do this, we will examine our stream table, a model that simulates properties of real-world streams, like how meanders change over time. Pay close attention to the movement of the particles. As the water flows downstream, the channel develops curves and bends. These bends are defined by the formation of cut banks and point bars. Cut banks are created along the outside of river bends, where the water is moving the fastest. This generates a high-energy environment that causes the erosion of the river bank. This erosion undercuts the river bank, eroding lower layers of soil first. Upper layers are held together by roots and vegetation. Eventually, the force of gravity will become too strong, and this material will collapse into the river. A collapse of this nature is shown here by this tree. Okay, let's go back to our stream table. On the inside of a river bend, opposite the cup bank, is the point bar. Here deposition is taking place instead of erosion. Notice how the depth of the water changes as we walk from the cut bank to the point bar. We'll discuss this a little bit later. Point bars are formed by the deposition of river sediments along the inside of a river bend. Here velocity is slowed and sediments can settle out. Eventually, this builds a feature above the surface of the water that you can stand on. The location of meanders and subsequently point bars and cut banks changes over time, which leads us back to that change in depth we mentioned earlier a change that is created by the inconsistent velocity that exists as you cross a stream channel. The deepest part of the stream is known as the thalweg. This is the portion of the channel where water flows fastest and erosion of the bed is most significant. The thalweg is generally located near the cup bank, which explains why erosion takes place here. Any change in the location of a thalweg alters the position of meanders. You may have noticed the different colors of particles in the stream table. The colors are used to differentiate between their various sizes. Multiple sizes of grains are used to represent real-world sediments. You see within the table darker color particles, which represent smaller grain sizes. These particles are the first being washed away and moved downstream. Notice their abundance within the flowing waters. The larger grain sizes, the whites and the yellows, are the first to be deposited. You can see their build up along point bars and the banks. A meandering river forms best over areas with low topographic relief, meaning the region has a small slope and there is not a significant change in elevation. A higher relief would lead to the faster velocities that inhibit the formation of meanders and cause straight channels to develop. Over its lifespan, a river's meanders migrate and change the surrounding landscape by continuously eroding the plane in which it flows. This progressive back and forth movement carves out structures known as terraces, which appear as steps in our stream table. This real-life terrace is comparable to the one generated by our stream table. The area within the terrace is defined as the floodplain, which is the area that water fills when significant precipitation causes a river to overflow its banks. Terraces can span long distances following the flow of the river and can be relatively steep. Now that we have a better understanding about some of the characteristics that make up meandering streams, let's recap. A meandering stream consists of a series of point bars and cut banks. Point bars are built by the deposition of sediments, and cut banks are caused by the erosion of the riverbank. The deepest part of the channel is known as the thalweg, and that is located near the cut banks. The continuous movement of meanders causes the terraces to form, which leads to the development of the floodplain. Together, all of these features make up the constantly changing and complex system that is a stream. That is all the time we have for you today. Thank you for joining us for an educational look at meandering streams. We hope you now have a better understanding for one of Earth's most common environmental features.